Glenn Greenwald is a journalist. You can find his work, which we hope you support on Substack. He joins us now. Glenn, I want to ask you about this bill from Stephanie Murphy, which strikes me as particularly ominous in the context of the moment we're in, that would ban people who fall within some category that she's defining, who have certain beliefs from effect, effectively from serving in government. Should your personal beliefs be a criterion for employment in the federal government? Well, the through line for everything that you just talked about, Tucker, is that the Democratic Party, which now controls the House, the Senate, and, and the White House, genuinely believes they have a monopoly on objective truth. They believe they're the party of science and rationality, and that the only way to disagree with them is if you're either a deranged conspiracy theorist or a seditionist, somebody who's engaged right. in criminal conduct or terrorism. And therefore, they genuinely believe it's not a show, it's not a pretext. They all have convinced one another through this echo chamber that they've created, essentially the entire media except this network, which is why they want to shut it down, that if you disagree with their orthodoxies and their consensus, you are a threat and a danger. And it's so ironic they spent four years claiming they're fighting fascism and authoritarianism. And what are they trying to do now? They're trying to harness corporate and monopoly power to silence everyone who disagrees with them. The very hallmark, the epitome of the fascism they claim to be fighting, but which in reality they embody. Well, it is kind of amusing. I'm trying to stay amused. I think it's important that they cite Russia as the thing that we hate most because they crack down on press freedoms and it's not a true democracy as a pretext for imposing censorship on the press in the United States. I mean, is there no self-awareness at all or do they just don't care? It's like they're it's like they're envious of Putin that he's managed to consolidate right. the power that they wish they could wield and are trying to wield now. Tucker, they genuinely want everyone who disagrees with them silence. I know it sounds like hyperbole if you don't pay attention no. uh -huh. constantly to the news. And it's not just random people who are saying it. It is leading members of the Democratic Party. They're going to have partners in like the Liz Cheney wing of the Republican Party as well. Right. They want to exploit their power to regulate corporations and monopolies to they're saying it outright. They're saying, we now control and regulate your industry, and we demand that you stop using your advertising money for this network that criticizes us, the party in control. If that isn't authoritarianism, what is? They want to shut everybody off the Internet. They destroyed an entire social media platform. They just took it off of the Internet because they instructed Silicon Valley monopolies that it was their obligation to remove it. It is very chilling. You really can't overstate how bloodthirsty okay. they are and the control that they're trying to exert over our discourse. I, I told you this before, but there were times years ago when I thought, maybe Glenn's a little bit paranoid. I don't, th I don't think that at all anymore. I think you're prophetic, <laughs> and I appreciate your coming on. Thank you. Good to Thanks, see you. Thanks, Tucker.